Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com, and today we're looking at another unlimited digital magazine app called Magster. You may have heard of them. They have been in the news for about the last three years or so. Um, they specialize in international content, but they also have lots of deals with publishers in the uni United Kingdom, North America. So you will find a lot of magazines, say you live in the US or Canada, and you go to the magazine store and you're used to finding some magazines on your shelf, you'll usually find them on Magster. So Forbes, Popular Science, Maxim, you know, the quintessential magazines that you would find here. Even things like the National Enquirer, soap opera digest i mean they don't have just magazines but they also have kind of cool things that you would find not in your local grocery store or find in your supermarket or drugstore there's a huge selection here there's hundreds of magazines and what i really like about magster is that they do have a lot of international magazines so this isn't the type of app that would only appeal to Canadians and people from the US and recently we reviewed texture formally next issue and this is their sort of method is that they only have magazines that would appeal to North American sensibilities where I think Magster has the same type of content but they have a ton of international content so if you live in India if you live in Singapore if you live in a lot of other countries you would be able to find magazines in your local newsstands on Magster so th that's one of the really um, strong pros about it so I have their unlimited subscription service here they have a free month that you can do it but they have helped me get an unlimited account for review purposes here you can actually look at new arrivals so you can kind of see uh, stuff here the cat mag must look at pictures of cats so cat mag is the first cat magazine written by cats for cats. So I kind of am really intrigued now. They actually have pictures of all their contributors. Nice. Okay, so this app is obviously awesome in my book because they have the cat mag. Uh, but that's not the only thing. You can look at your collections here. And this is the only unlimited magazine subscription service that actually has Viz. And you can not only read the current issue that's available, but you can look at all the back issues too. So say you read the newest issue of Viz and you're like, hey, this manga series, say Slag Trek is... I really like. Hey, but where did it actually start? Oh, it started two, you know, a year ago. So you can download Viz from a year ago and just start reading like that series. Uh, very cool. Uh, I'm in there reading gay magazines. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. But you can see that the pictures look really good. Now, this when you're reading magazines, you can swipe on your screen from left to right you can pinch and zoom but when you turn a page of your zoom level is defaulted but if I single t tap the screen it kind of the text optimizes itself to the 9.7 inches of my iPad Air 2 here when you click the screen here, you can actually share whatever magazine you're reading via social media. And you can see at the bottom here a carousel of, you know, what's going on further in the magazine in terms of pictures. I find that the magazines, again, on my iPad Air 2 uh, looks totally amazing. When you look at really high definition 
covers you know covers here i mean all this pops it looks really good in person hopefully it's coming across this in film but i really do think that magazines look really sweet and what i kind of found about magster is that it's certainly worth the subscription fee that you're paying i think it's around like ten dollars a month or so and you can download as much as you want now magster's sort of unlimited subscription service is called magster gold and this is actually something that they just introduced i believe last year in 2014 so this has been sort of something really kind of new for them But anyways, I'm really enamored with this app ever since I started using it a few months ago. Uh, this has quickly become my go-to app for being able to find stuff. I kind of like how they have like so much genres here that you can kind of really isolate your searches. If you click on comics, I mean, look at this. There's no shortage of content here. This is really kind of worth your money, I think, to subscribe to it. Because, again, they just don't have, like, magazines, but they have graphic novels. They have comic books. They have, like, manga. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. And you could really kind of take care of your interests here by favoriting specific books, bookmarks. You can see I haven't bought anything because I opted into their subscription service. But you have stuff here. You could quit. You just as easily remove it as you can add it but all my favorite magazines are are really kind of on here but again magster is sort of internationally focused so they don't have all the magazines that you would really kind of want to find like i'm a huge fan of wired but they don't have I guess the English version of Wired here. They just have the German version, whereas Next Issue does have a publishing agreement with Condé Nast for all their North American, Western European properties. So this app I find is solid on its own, but if you really truly want to be a digital magazine aficionado, get Magster. If you live in North America, also get a subscription to Next Issue. You're paying about $20 a month, but between these two apps, you're really getting a ton of value. But if you had to use Magster and Magster on its own, I feel that it is totally worth the value because they do have a lot of magazines, but it's, I think it's like all their cool extra content like Viz, like that cat magazine. I mean, there's kind of a lot of cool stuff here for you to be able to discover and discover new magazines that are not, are not as necessarily at your local Barnes & Noble bookstore or your Chapters Indigo store. You kind of discover kind of cool indie magazines, magazines that you've never heard of before. So I think it's great for discovery and I feel that it's an awesome time to be involved in the magazine industry just because you have all these excellent distribution methods that magazines really didn't have even five years ago so again this is magster gold on my ipad air 2 if you have any questions or concerns regarding this uh, kindly let me know and for goodyreader.com my name is michael and everybody take care